Distractor is the name for a surgical instrument or apparatus that is used for bone development. In this picture you can see a distractor. The distractor is then attached to the lower jaw. You can clearly see the bone defect. In this area the alveolar ridge lies below the neighboring teeth. A potential treatment for this bone defect would be a bone transplant which would enable the renewed setting of artificial roots on the teeth. We'll discuss this topic more in the video entitled Implantation. However, in cases of larger bone transplants, it can sometimes be difficult to cover the transplanted bone block. Covering means that the transplanted block has to be covered with adjacent mucosa. This mucosa must meet several conditions. It's important that the mucosa be tension-free and saliva-proof in order for the bone to heal properly. In unfavorable conditions, or in those cases where the bone block is too large, it can often be difficult to suture the mucosa tightly, as seen in this case. The distraction solves both problems in one go. First, the distractor is positioned under the mucosa. Then, after the cuts have healed, the entire bone block, including the mucosa, is able to move upward. In this case, both the bone and the mucosa regrow. In the picture, you can see a healed-in distractor. Only the winch, which the patient uses to operate the distractor, is visible in the mouth area. You now see the function of a distractor on a lower jaw model. First, the distractor is attached to the lower jaw. This requires some hole drilling. During actual operations, the drill has to be cooled off with water in order to avoid heat damage to the bone. After the drilling holes have been set, the distractor is secured with small screws. Later on, when the bone has fully regenerated, all screws and parts will be removed. You now see how the last screw is being tightened. At this point in the procedure, we can see how the cut zone is determined, in this case with a pencil. The framed bone block will later be moved upward. This will ultimately correct the jaw defect. After the pencil marking, special pens and mark drillings are also used in the actual mouth, some parts of the distractor are taken out again. Otherwise, it would obviously not be possible to saw away the bone block from the jaw, as we see in this film. Following the mobilization of bone fragments, the distractor is assembled. By turning the winch, which later on stands in the patient's mouth, the bone block can be moved effortlessly and painlessly. As soon as the bone defect has been corrected and the bone is healed, the distractor is removed. There is now enough regenerated bone to perform a procedure such as an implant. After the distractor has settled in and the appropriate bone piece has disengaged, the wound is sutured tightly. Once an appropriate period of time has passed, say about 10 days, the patient can turn the screw once a day until the bone defect has been corrected. During the next procedure, say an implantation, the distractor is removed.